Hello Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Let's look to see the messages that the divine is wanting to bring to your attention. We're going to be looking at current blockages that you need to be aware of, weaknesses, what you need to let go of and surrender, your strengths at this moment in time, any blind spots that the divine is wanting to bring to your attention, advice, and also what you need to know at this time moment in time we're going to be getting our tarot cards to clarify this message for us even further so let's do that now as we get our cards i want to remind you that we have our solstice candle magic ceremony that is going to be happening in your moon we have our capricorn full moon that is happening on the 21st of june and you know that we always do our candle magic ceremonies. We always say our prayers and you are invited. On this solstice, we are going to be working on doing some cord cutting, some banishing ceremonies, some spiritual cleanses, letting go of energies that no longer serve you and a lot more. So if you're wanting to be part of the ceremony, go in the description box below Go to my website and you know what to do. Okay, so straight away, let's see what you need to know. As I'm looking at your cards, you have two major arcana cards of the Hermit card and also the Strength card. So there is something that is going on and the Divine is saying that we need to talk about it. Okay, we need to talk about these energies that are here. First things first, let's look at the blockages that the divine is wanting to address so capricorns for some of you you are currently feeling stuck okay and you are going to be seeing that on the full moon there could be a lot of endings that happen okay i'm trying to get the light right there could be light that comes in and illuminates a situation there is going to be fire that comes in and releases you from some blockages that you're currently experiencing at the moment. The divine is saying that for some of you, this is going to happen really quickly. You could be seeing that maybe there are endings connected to relationships, friendships, things that have kept you feeling stuck in pain. And the divine is saying to you, you are working with divine timing because the energies of the eight of wands come swift, fast. Things boom, just like that. And and you feel that relief. So the divine is saying, whatever blockages that you feel right now, whatever it is that you feel like you want to be released from, this is going to be coming to an end abruptly. So I'd say it is important for you to say your prayers about this energy that is here. Do your banishing ceremonies, do your cleansing ceremonies, do your releasing return to sender so that this can finally come to an end and you can start moving on with your life, okay? The weaknesses that are here, the divine is saying that the vibe is off. And for some of you, you are currently ignoring this for whatever reason, okay? The divine is saying that for some of you, you have been feeling really frustrated. You have been feeling really stuck. For some of you, you are feeling stuck, but you don't know how to deal with these energies. Well, the divine is saying to you, that because this is a weakness that is there, the hermit card is saying to you, you are ignoring that call from your guides and your ancestors to meditate, to pray, to calm and to speak about this situation. And for some of you, you are ignoring the advice from your guides and your ancestors to let go, to release, to surrender so that you can have a new beginning. The divine is saying that for some of you, the weakness that is here is that you don't want to face the music, right? You want to avoid the pain. But the divine is saying that it is time because there is a new beginning, a new horizon that is starting to rise. So it is time for you to allow whatever shifts that you need to go through so that you can finally start stepping in to your new beginning. So what we need to surrender and let go of, the divine is saying you need to surrender and let go of that war that you're currently involved in. That uncomfortable situation 
that is making you feel like this on the inside, it is time to liberate yourself. It is time for you to ask yourself, what are you even fighting for? And is it worth it? Because the divine is saying that for you, you need to understand that you can finally win. You can finally put an ending to a situation that maybe you felt small, powerless. Maybe it was too emotional, painful. Maybe you were just not ready. But the divine is wanting you to understand that the time is now to take action. Because remember, you have the strength to deal with whatever weakness this is. Maybe, for instance, you are currently engaging in self-sabotaging behaviors. You feel frustrated and disappointed with yourself. You feel like there is an internal war that is going on. And the divine is saying, you are going to finally find yourself surrendering those behaviors, procrastination, toxic behaviors, whatever has been getting in the way, you are finally going to be given the strength to surrender and to let go of this feeling situation. And remember the energies of the number eight is connected to the strength card. So when you release, surrender, let go, that feeling of being stuck, frozen, is going to finally evaporate. And you are going to receive the fire, the passion that is needed to start something new. I really feel that for a lot of you, there are going to be some new beginnings that come in. You are finally going to slay that dragon and put it to sleep. And you are going to put an end to that war that has been raging within you for a long time. So whether this is you drinking, okay, engaging in toxic behaviors, whether this is you feeling depressed even, you are going to have the strength to put that energy to sleep, okay? So this is why the divine is saying to you, it is time for you to walk with your guides and your ancestors because they are going to be helping you transition from this situation to a more peaceful chapter that is here because in the position of your strength the divine is saying that the strength that you are going to have is going to be coming from you realizing that you are working with divine timing and for your wishes to come true you have to be willing to surrender you have to be willing to give up the fight and you have to be willing to activate the energies of hermit isolation so that you can go through this journey. It almost feels like that butterflies, right, that butterfly, before it becomes a butterfly, it has to go through the transition. When it's in the cocoon, it might feel stuck. It might feel frustrated, but it understands the process that has to happen so that it can become a butterfly and transition from being the caterpillar. So equally for you, the divine is saying it is time for you to see and to understand that divine timing is at play. And you are going to be seeing that your wishes, like I told you, will start blossoming, will start becoming a reality. You're going to have the key to open new doors and opportunities. And this energy of feeling stuck is going to be a thing of the past. This energy of feeling like you're at war, you don't have to reside in this energy anymore. Peace is going to be yours. So the divine is saying, your blind spots at the moment, what you need to see right now, you are receiving the energies of the five of cups. So the divine is saying to you, what you're currently not seeing is that you need to cut those cords to whatever is holding on to you whether this is self-sabotaging behaviors, toxic behaviors, whether this is toxic people, whether this is past relationships that have a hold on you and won't let you go. The divine is saying to you, it is important for you to start working in silence. You're making a plan. Remember, as the hermit, I already told you that as the hermit, it is time to accept that you need to isolate yourself so that you can see and think clearly, but make sure that you are not announcing to the world what you are about to do next. Free yourself and go on the journey of liberation. 
and you're going to be seeing that blessings will come. But understand that if you go and start telling whoever you are at war with, if you start telling the world that, you know what, I am ready for new beginnings, I'm saying goodbye to this behavior, I'm going to do this and that, you're going to be seeing that this is going to actually grab a tighter hold on you so that you are not able to move so that it blocks the blessings that are waiting for you. There is just something that is here that is wanting to keep you stuck, that doesn't want you to move on, whether this is an ex, whether whatever emotion this is, the divine is saying, work in silence, make your plans, walk with your guides and your ancestors and pray that peace starts unfolding in your life because divine timing is working with you. So the advice that you have, the divine is saying, listen, okay, karma will come and deal with this situation, with this energy. And for you, the best advice is to understand that karma comes with divine timing. It works with divine timing. And as I was saying that it was 11-11. So karma will come and deal with some situations that are here. For you, the advice is to look at all the opportunities that are going to start presenting themselves to you and to focus on that because you have finally released and freed yourself from this stuck feeling, from this war that has been going on within you. And you've understood that when the vibration is off, you have to do something about it. Otherwise, it turns into a weakness where you don't listen to your intuition and you doubt yourself. So you turn this into a positive. You understand that when the vibration, when the energy is off, it is time to isolate and it is time to go and work and walk with your ancestors. So there's going to be choices that are going to be coming up. Okay, focus on the choices that are coming up. Focus on the good energy that is coming towards you and let karma come and deal with whatever is transpired in the past. So what you need to know right now, the divine is saying to you, it is time for you to understand that you need to start sharing your gifts and talents. You need to start having faith in your gifts and talents. You need to start sharing them with the world because you don't know what could happen. You don't know what blessings are going to come in when you step up. Having the energies of the nine of wands is indicating that for some of you, you are just feeling tired, bent out, exhausted. And the divine is saying to you, it is time for you to rest. Okay, the best advice that is coming, what you need to know is that you might understand that you have been fighting many battles for a long time. You have been engaged in a peaceful war, which has in turn, hasn't given you your chance or time to focus on your gifts and your talents. Because of this, you started doubting, are you good enough? The divine is saying, stop fighting that eternal war. That war that is going on within you, this has to stop. Show up as you are and things will get better over time. So the energies of the nine of wands is asking you, what do you want to fight for? Do you keep fighting to stay stuck? In situations that have long gone, are you staying to fight for a relationship when the house has burned down a long time ago? Do you keep looking at the past? The Nine of Wands is saying to you, make a choice, make a decision. Do you give this situation one more time or do you decide to finally look into the future and to go and make something new happen for you? So I know that this could be a complicated reading for some people, but it is very clear. This feeling is asking you to decide. Are you tired of feeling blocked or feeling stuck? Well, it is time to release that. And as you release, things will start happening for you really quickly. Like, boom, everything is just done. This could be, like I said, an ending. You just come and you say your piece. 
and everything starts to unfold in a peaceful way because you are working with divine timing and you have the strength to deal with whatever is unfolding. But remember to take this strength and to use it to start sharing your gifts and your talents, to start refining who you are instead of engaging in karma. So I feel that for some of you, maybe you've already started this transition. There could be a divorce that is on the cards. There could be an ending that is on the cards because karma is Lady Justice or there is a situation where perhaps something happened and now you are making sure that this situation is done. Maybe you are having a, um, what do you call it? Um, you know, when you get the court to ask a person to stop, keep on harassing you and holding on to you. And they are giving you that injunction. So whatever has happened, the divine is saying that there is something better that is waiting for you on the other side. But it is up to you to decide what happens next. And this is the reading that I have for you. If you found value in this reading, please do give this video a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye from me.